Cloud9 IDE is an entirely new way of developing applications. It exists entirely online, which means that any developer on a modern browser like Chrome, Safari, or Firefox can access their projects from anywhere around the world, whether they're on Windows or OS X or Linux. And we didn't do this because it was novel, but because the experience is actually superior to developing in isolation. And the reason is because developers know the pain of maintaining different platforms and all of the little configuration details that make it really difficult to get to what they want to do, which is development. And so we created a platform that runs on OpenShift that gives every project on Cloud9 its own workspace. A workspace on Cloud9 not only gives you your own hard drive space, your own memory capacity, it gives you the confidence that every developer on your team has a consistent infrastructure that they're developing their projects on. So you no longer have to worry about those little configuration details that act as big hurdles to getting your development done. And today, I'm going to show what it's like to work with OpenShift on Cloud9 and also to deploy an application that you're working with on Cloud9 to OpenShift. So here, I've signed into Cloud9. And I have a project open called GeekDots. I've imported it from GitHub. It's a really simple chat application. And it's written in Node.js. And so here I have my server file. And I'm going to go ahead and start it up so we can see what it's like when it's running. So here I have it running, and I can test it out to make sure that everything's OK. So the chatting is working. The application is great. And now I want to deploy it to OpenShift. But first, I'm going to make a little change. I'm going to say, instead of just geek dots, I'm going to call it geek, geek dots on OpenShift. I'm going to go back to my terminal here, and I'm going to commit the change. What's great about this is that this terminal is connected directly to your workspace. So every command, every keystroke, and everything is being sent directly to your workspace. So you get that access to the underlying infrastructure that, that powerful developers really need. So now I've got my changes committed. And now I'm going to push directly to OpenShift. If I look at my remotes in Git, I can see that I've already added OpenShift as a remote, which they describe on, on their documentation. And I can do git push OpenShift and then the branch that I'm working on, which is master. And what we'll see here is that the remote host on OpenShift is telling us that the application is stopping, it's updating, and now it's being restarted, all within a matter of seconds. So I can go back to OpenShift and see that my application has been updated and it's running beautifully, all within a matter of seconds. So that's what it's like to develop on Cloud9 and deploy to OpenShift. You can check out OpenShift at OpenShift.com and Cloud9 at C9.io. Get signed up and start developing your applications right away.